well what do we have here android 12 beta 5 running on the poco f1 hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at the script kiddy build of android 12 beta 5 running on the poco f1 the kernel we are using is shiva's no name kernel the vendor is also from shiva the gsi is from nippon the wallpaper is linked in the description of this video and the build is shipped as is do not expect any bug fixes this build is for the enthusiast who wants to try out android 12 beta 5 on his poco f1 so here it is this is how the build might come out of the box you of course will have to change the wallpaper and the animations of course are pretty smooth no jitters and no lags in the animation do note the build is pre-rooted out of the box you will have to install the magisk app once you open it for the first time then go ahead and enable magisk hide and then you can try to check for safety net safety net should pass without any issues if you head over to the play store the device will be certified which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues youtube media playback works absolutely fine no jitters no lags live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium now the next question which i will get a lot is what about google photos so this device right here is replicating the pixel 3 so you do have original quality unlimited till february 1st 2022 however i doubt you are going to use this rom till then and with respect to the feature of portrait light let us go ahead and try to edit a picture of my favorite football star which here is mr maradona wait for this loading bar to finish and once that is done we can go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light is present works without any issues super important thing to note is that portrait light is going to work if and only if you are using a human object if i try to edit a picture of my chicken friend over here then portrait light is not going to work google assistant is broken on this build next up everybody knows if you tap on the android version a few times you do get the easter egg and this here is the easter egg from android 12 however with beta 5 they have added something new so once you do that you can always press and hold on your home screen go into widgets you will see something called android s easter egg and this is your paint chips you can of course bring it to your home screen and then you can go ahead and resize it and it is supposed to show you the paint chips which it is not showing us right now Build. next up while we are talking about the widgets do note you do get the new clock widgets and bam here are the four new clock widgets which we have been eagerly waiting for and here it is on our screen and this is how it looks like does look pretty great for now let me switch back to my matrix wallpaper because i am hyped about the new matrix movie so here we are back with the matrix wallpaper the clock is looking pretty great no doubt about that next up let us head over to settings and as you can see the ui is pretty smooth if you head over to battery you do have your battery usage and the battery percentage now do note that again this is a build by me and i'm not a pro hence the alignment of stuff in the notch is not perfect and you might see some misalignment and all those things but then again that is something which you'll have to bear with moving over to display and we can go into lock screen here and you will find two new options show the wallet and show your device controls so those of you who use your smartphone for controlling your smart devices making payments enable these toggles and once you do that they are going to appear on your lock screen on the bottom left and on the bottom right i mean i'm a fan of this android 12 ui looks pretty great now playing again do not enable this otherwise you might have issues with audio lag and stuff always on display surprisingly works without any issues there it is you can see aod working and have a look at that animation boo yeah pretty dope pretty dope can't wait for the pros to bring us android 12 beta 5 double tap to wake is broken as is left to check 
phone then you have your normal options of screen timeout dark theme is there let us enable dark theme and have a look at how dark theme looks yep everything is looking pretty great with respect to the dark theme as well next up we can head over to wallpapers and style so we did cover all of these options and they are working without any issues and have a look at those animations wow smooth security yep no face unlock but fingerprint unlock is there works absolutely fine animation is pretty dope over here as well if you go into system and gestures you do have swipe fingerprint for notifications broken for the poco f1 system navigation you have three different options because we are using a pixel 3 port and if you go into settings for your gestures you can invoke the assistant by swiping and there it is hey google are you working Oops, looks like that is broken on this build as well unfortunately ported by a noob then you have one-handed mode and once you enable this you can of course swipe down and as you can see one-handed mode is working without any issues and of course you can create a shortcut for your one-handed mode as well so either you can use the accessibility one or you also have the option of enabling your volume keys to access your one-handed mode other than that you have your new material u applications as well so the calculator app has gotten a facelift and here it is this is how it looks like of course you can choose the theme which you want system default right now is light and you can of course change it to dark as well and before i forget the calculator app has an easter egg as well so there it is i do suggest that you keep it real similarly the clock has also gotten a facelift and have a look at that animation when you access the different options at the bottom the animation in the background pretty cool pretty dope and when you try to set an alarm even then you get a new ui so let us try to change the time bam here it is you can see the new ui is there and working without any issues similarly all of this is going to of course respond to the change in wallpaper so let us say we go ahead and go back to our mandalorian wallpaper and then the accent colors should switch over to whatever the prominent accent color in the mandalorian is so here it is stopwatch bam changed working without any issues similarly if you go to the calculator again the accent colors have now changed next up with respect to your game mode you still do not have it in the settings but again if you search for game you should get something called game dashboard so let me go back into settings here in search in the settings and type in game here it is game settings game dashboard once you enable this then go ahead and play any game so right now i am in pac-man let me reduce the volume and now go back to your home screen and from the recents switch to any other application and then go back to your game and here it is bam you have your game dashboard here and you can of course enable your screenshot screen recorder and fps tiles in this floating toolbar which you can move around wherever you want to does look pretty sleek as well now a few more things you might be worried about the missing weather on your home screen and on your lock screen well that is missing on the pixels as well and everybody's assumption is that it is a bug from google's end however if you press and hold on your widget and go into customize you can now customize your at a glance and if you go into settings everything will be empty again another bug from google but they are saying that you should be able to disable this in case you want to and of course you have your overview suggestions swipe to access google app the toggle for add app icons and search your phone is also there similarly while we're talking about search if you open your application drawer you will notice that the ugly bar they had in the app drawer has been fixed with beta 5 and you get some more functionality so for starters you can choose to always show the keyboard or always hide the keyboard so right now it is always show keyboard and whenever i open my app drawer the keyboard is going to show up and i can now search for anything similarly if i change this to always hide the keyboard now when i open my app drawer the keyboard is not going to show up it will show up when you tap on the search option and 
again if you go into the preferences of this you do have system wide search enabled with beta 5 and here and you have toggles to customize what you want to see in your search results so you have toggles for shortcuts people settings tips all those fancy things which google is adding with android 12 and again and before we end the video we can of course have a look at the smooth animations of android 12 one more time because they are of course eye candy here are the recents everything does look pretty smooth and of course with android 12 google is banking on their ai and your google lens features so here it is you can of course copy and share this link you can also drag and drop this picture from your recents and then choose to share it in case you want to of course it won't work when i'm trying to record it on video so here it is let me try it one more time press and hold or yep just tap on it and then say copy or lens it in case you want to then we can also have a look at our google feed again everything is smooth there aren't any jitters or lags which i can see but do expect them because as i have mentioned multiple times in this video the video or the rom is from a noob and here it is we can have a look at switching between different apps as well and again everything does look pretty great over here as well so what can i say i mean not gonna praise my own personal script kd build but feel free to use it in case you want to experience android 12 beta 5 on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you